KCRA 3's Brittany Hope joins us live from the Copperopolis area with uh, the very latest. Brittany? We're right off Highway 4. This is a front row seat to the firefighting tools that are being used. Take a live look at this, and this is just wonderful timing. You can see that large Chinook is flying in. It has that hose hanging out. This is really the most smoke that we have seen so far this afternoon, and we have seen this Chinook and another helicopter essentially taking turns every few minutes doing water drops down in this valley. This valley is on the south side of Highway 4. So this is about two miles from Copperopolis. And there is that water drop. You can see when you're dropping hundreds of gallons of water, how much it's going to help in those areas that are really, really smoky. And just coming up next, this is that rotation we've been telling you about. Just above us here is that other helicopter that's coming in with a lot more water. This is the first time we've seen them both in action in this valley at the same time. Usually it's every few minutes, but in the past few minutes, we have noticed a little bit more smoke coming from the mouth of the valley there. So it seems that they're really trying to hammer into this area. Just got off the phone with Cal Fire and they said yes, all along Highway 4. This is where the heart of the firefight is at this point. We've seen a lot of people online asking us, hey, is Copperopolis okay? What's going on there? Have things burned? We did a quick drive through before this live shot. Man, those flames got really close to homes and to the elementary school. But as far as we could tell just from street level, it looked like everything was still standing, which is a really, really great relief. We know that overnight, Cal Fire says that dip in temperatures, the winds finally calming down, calming down, and the relative humidity going up, it helped them get a great handle. We only saw about 400 acres of growth. Another big help, especially now that the sun is back up, is water drops like this. All day yesterday, we saw DC-10s dropping that fire retardant, which is that red on the trees you see. And now today, we have all of these water drops from multiple different aircraft, which are proving to be wonderful crews. Now, we do know that some structures have burned. We know three structures burned, completely destroyed, and one is damaged. Just got off the phone with Cal Fire. They said at this point, they're not sure what those structures are, if they're homes, if they're businesses, if, if they're just um, on the side of homes, if they're outhouses, they're not sure yet, but they do have a damage assessment team that's coming in to look at all of that. We asked the question, hey, when can people come home? And they said it's just too early to tell.